Hey everybody, I have gone and got me one of these uh, Chinese lanterns. Now this is kind of a promo thing and we're going to inspect it. We're going to open it up. It's going to be an open box. Um, any links to anything we're going to be using, including the controllers that they sent with it. They're just wanting to set these things up for, I guess, to show you what they'll do. But this is a new model. I want you to look at the picture posted right here. And as you'll notice, it's a different style of a blade that goes with this. What we're gonna do right now is me and Kira Marie, we are opening up this one right now. And she's gonna go ahead and cut it open and we'll get the parts out of it. And we're gonna take a look and see what we get with this little wind turbine, Chinese lantern wind turbine. She gets to use her knife. box open we're gonna see what parts are in this because that's a big deal with these little turbines is what do you get so this is an open box video this one is a little different it sends you with the regular paperwork that shows you this item here and all the parts that come with it including the mounting plate clamp plate right there so the difference is is if you'll notice this one it's only one of the blades but this one here we got is different they just released these and the company decided I needed one okay now notice something a little different in this design versus the picture. This is the blade. Right here, hold that up here. That is the blade right there that is way different than the ones you see commonly in the pictures. The link to this one will be below the video and it is different because it's supposed to finally reach that critical RPM speed that the existing original ones did not. And the way these are built, now you'll look in here and they'll show you the mass webbing here. And then you look at it, the webbing's a little less so that you have less vacuum effect inside your blades here. These are blades for a VAWT, V-A-W-T, which means vertical. Uh, it's a vertical wind turbine. And we're looking at how this one is made, and I do believe that I want to cut me a piece of aluminum to fit down inside of here and figure out how to put it in there and get them all equal length, equal weight to either strengthen it up or get less snow or rain or mud or dirt or dust that would fit in these because that would really throw you off balance. It don't move fast enough here. It moves a lot faster out this outer edge. So that is one of the blades that go with this new turbine. And the motor with it, which is the PMA or PMG, whichever one you want to call it, it is a little bit suspicious by most people's standards because they claim that these motors handle or create 400 watts. So let me pull it out. And Technically, they're supposed to be able to create 400 watts of power. Now, I can't say what this one's going to create because this is the first bot that I've ever had that is similar to this. And as she pulls out more blades, you can see how big the blades are here. By my hand, by her, they're not huge. Um, it's basically about a meter in diameter when they're all hooked up together. And you can read that on the specs of these turbines. Um, that link down that I put on the video will get you there to what the specs are to these. And they, they're selling these all over for all kinds of prices. And the big reason that a lot of people complain about these is apparently what they've tried to fix here. 
it doesn't get enough RPMs to produce a lot of power. So um, we're going to put a multimeter on this, and I'm just going to spend it by hand and kind of see if with a reading, I don't think I can spend it more than 50 or 60 RPMs by hand. Um, and then in the next video, we're going to show the assembly. So this is a video just unboxing this turbine and all of what you get with it. So if you look at all the different parts that you get with it, you get the blades with the new pieces or the new airfoil that they put on this and it's supposed to be better. So that's what we're working on. Now, if you'll notice, they try to eBay trap you showing you a big radial generator on a lot of these in their pictures. It's a big flat pancake generator. Those generators, if you get one of those, they'll put out the power. But this is a standard PMA, permanent magnet alternator, and it is no different than what's on the front of my wind turbine that's currently mounted up there, my Chinese wind turbine. Go look at my other videos. You'll see a lot of turbine stuff. Uh, turbines, how to wire them, brake systems for them, uh, charge controllers and all that stuff. Um, wiring is, looks like 12 gauge, so I wouldn't suspect anything over 400 watts capacity that it could do, um, even if it could reach that. Um, here is the upper disc that mounts so that when you put your bolts through these holes here, that it mounts on this like so. So that is exactly what we're working with here. And I'll show you, we'll do the, the basic assembly of just laying this out, how big in diameter it ends up being. Pretty much overall, it's not huge. For an RV, for a little campsite, for something like that, um, for a hundred and a half, I think they're selling for about a hundred and a half. If you can get this thing to make five amps, 10 amps, um, when you're, say you have three, 400 watts of solar panels on your RV or your, if you can make five, 10 amps, it'll maintain your batteries without the drama of having to kick on a generator for a lot of people. Um, will it work for a big 40 foot motor home? Hell no. You know, you, <laughs> you ought to know better. Um, will it work for a... 37 foot fifth wheel with microwaves and two AC units? Of course not. Will it work for a truck camper, a 24 foot, you know, travel trailer, a small class C motor home to keep the batteries charged so you can watch TV, be on the computer? Yeah, probably, probably will. Now we're gonna know more here in just a second. I'm going to hook up this to a multimeter and I'm gonna give it a spin by hand. We're gonna take Take a look and just see what low RPMs will make it do. And yes, it's only volts. However, when it's volts, it tells you what its response is to RPMs. Now, will it produce power? That is going to be video two. We're going to test it in a wind. And they do not come with, as far as I could tell, a flange. So the flange that will work on these, I will include a link down below. They actually clamp onto a pipe, easy to use, no welding, and you have to kind of make the standard fit the metric. So there's a slight differentiation in this or the flange to line the bolts up. So you just kind of file it a little bit. And I mean a little, about a millimeter. Okay, guys. Now what we've got is, like I said, we hooked this up. I have a lead right now on one of the three leads. And you can see that's the ones coming out of here. And these turbines do not require a slip ring which is quite important in the world of wind turbines for a horizontal, but this is a vertical. So VAWT, vertical wind turbine. So now um, what we're doing is I have uh, tested one of these before, but here's the notable difference right here. This turbine um, is three and an eighth inches. Uh, the PMA, the motor, the generator head. So you have a permanent magnet alternator um, if they're called a PMG, they're actually supposed to be DC powered like a treadmill motor, a uh, permanent magnet generator, because it's like the old Volkswagen Buck. They had a permanent magnet generator, but this is a permanent magnet alternator, which means it alternates AC voltage, not DC. A PMG is two fields, permanent magnet generator. So it produces direct to power. This has to be put through a controller and here is the controller right here. 
Now these are only about 20 bucks. This has a built-in braking system with it. What we're gonna do is I'm going to hold the, I'm gonna take the leads and I'm gonna check these and spin this by hand. Now, my hand will probably get it 50, 60 RPMs and we're gonna see what the voltage peak is. And yes, voltage don't mean everything. But the previous one I've tested, it took a drill to get it to 30 freaking volts. This one, I'm just gonna spin it with my hand and see what it does. And you'll be able to see the readings in real time, everything here. And Kira's gonna hold the camera here while I got this, get this all set up. Um, watch the voltage. There's the decimal point right there, and it'll probably move once or twice in there if it gets too high. I have it set on 200 volts. I ain't going that high. I'm sure of that. But we're gonna see if they made a huge change, not only in the design, but also as claimed in the PMA, which it looks like they have. So we're gonna go with that and see if it really puts out more power than existing VOTs that look similar, that look more like that, okay? And you'll see here, see how small this thing is in this picture. I mean, it's drastically smaller compared to this versus these. All right, so I'll get the leads here and y'all keep an eye on the voltage right there. And you're going to see me work on these leads here from the turbine. Um, I will take, and it doesn't matter, positive or negative leads, it's alternating, so it doesn't care. Uh, we're gonna hook onto this one, and then I wanted to give a little spin, just by hand, so remember, that's just by hand. Now, I've got big hands, so if you think about the size of this, um, the best way to do a comparison on there is, look at this, here is a 25 tape measure, 25 foot tape measure, I believe, or, no, yeah, 25 foot tape measure. And you'll see the difference here, okay, uh, or the size. So it's a three inch PMA, um, which is great. It's a lot bigger than the old ones are. Um, now, counterclockwise or clockwise, you'll still generate power. You see that? Back and forth, back and forth. You're exciting the magnets into the stator. But this one is designed to run clockwise. So I want you to watch the voltage, me just running my finger right there on it. And that's not bad. That's, it was at eight volts. Now I'm gonna spin it pretty hard. Spin it again. Spin it again. So you're seeing upwards of 20 volts just with me spinning this by hand. That's not bad. That's actually impressive. I couldn't have never done that with a previous model of one like this. And I would check the other lead so we verify the condition of it, make sure the PMA is equalized and make sure it's, uh, I believe it's uh, either star, I believe it's star winding in this thing. Um, not positive, the Chinese, they don't tell you the truth every time. So we're going to look and see voltage again. Now you look at that. Look at the reaction of that voltage. There's five volts, there's nine volts. I'm just barely turning this voltage reaction that quick. So we're gonna go ahead and spin it up again. There's 21 volts, 23, 24 volts. So what you're getting here is although yes, you're getting the voltage um, and yes, there's going to be losses attaching this uh, rectifier to it, and there's going to be losses in wiring. But comparing this to most generators in this $150 market, I just spun that by hand. Now, you're supposed to be low RPM to run these. How freaking low RPM is that? I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's freaking low. So the link down below shows you the link to this model. There's a lot of them look a lot alike. There's a lot of them that show a flat radio model like I've said previously, and they sell you this little 200 watt nothing pancake. You don't want that, you want that. You want this, so you have less vacuum inside your hub of your bot, of your blade. And that's a good idea they come up with. Let's hope it works. Look for the next video. It's going to be putting all this together and we're going to test it all out and find out what this thing will do. All right, y'all stay tuned.